Don't forget to like, follow, subscribe, and turn on notifications so that you will receive alerts when there are new episodes. Go get it. That's what I tell them. I've been grinding for so long, I wake up and chase my goals, I go out and I go get it, how to code, that's all I know, I don't succeed, then I don't breathe, success, what does it mean, if I conquer all my goals, then I'm living out my dream, dig deep, go out and get it, success chronicles, compete until it's finished, success chronicles, go take care of your business, success chronicles, it's deeper than just winning, success chronicles. Hey, what's up everybody, this is Chip Baker, we are here with Coach Emily Janacek Witt, an amazing lady doing some great things. Uh, so glad to have her on and uh, highlight her. So first coach, thanks so much for taking the time to come through and hang out. Thank you so much for having me. I was so excited when you reached out. I'm kind of fangirling a little bit, so. <laughs> <That's funny. laughs> Let's go. <laughs> well, uh, well, like I said off air, I just said on air, no, we're going to have a good time. Right? I'm excited. So, so let's go. <laughs> but tell, if you don't mind, tell the audience a little bit about who you are and what it is you do. Okay, I'm Emily Janacek Witt. I am from a small town just south of Houston in Meadville. Um, I grew up, and of course, in your small one horse town, you have to play every sport possible. So even though I wasn't very good at most of them, um, I picked up pretty much everything across the board, I think. Um, and that just kind of immersed me in my love of athletics. Athletics. Um, that on top of both of my parents being teachers and coaches. My mom was a head softball coach. My dad coached football for 30 plus years um, out in Fort Bend ISD. My mom was a coach out in Wharton. My sister is a SPED department chair, so we're all a family of educators. Um, I graduated from Meadville, went on to Sam Houston State, and I immediately uh, got thrown into the ring out at bowling. I picked up a head volleyball position um, and I was an English teacher there. And from there I went to Ridge Point and then I ended up at George Ranch High School where I took on the softball program there. And then I will now be making a move to Cuphill, Texas as the head softball and girls coordinator. That's awesome. Let's, let's go back to George Ranch. You got some okay. kind of awards there. <laughs> So we, we can't look over there, Coach. <laughs> Let's talk about that a little bit. All right, George Ranch, um, love that campus, love the people I worked with, and I definitely love my girls there. Um, I was named the Teacher of the Year, and then I went on to be named the 26A Coach of the Year for that season. That's awesome. So um, I know I told you a specific question that I may be asking. I'm going to go off script a little bit. Now that oh, I know fine. about uh, your parents being educators, so I'm a fourth-generation educator, uh, mom, grandmother, great-grandmother, uh, so you know, I come from a family of educators and church folk, right. I say, with no S, church folk, <laughs> right? And so um, I just know the blessing of what it is to see your family go above and beyond and give service to others. And it teaches you so much uh, in your life on how to be. And, and it, it gave me chills when you talked about like your journey and then me knowing like the awards and stuff you got. But it showed me that like, like you've seen that for years. <laughs> Like you know what to do because you've seen that for years. My family, we're like this. And so yeah. you're going to make me a little bit emotional because yeah. I'm going to be making a four-hour trek away from them, um, yeah. picking up this job. But um, getting the Teacher of the Year Award this year, that actually made us four for four. All four of us have been named Let's Teachers of the go. Year. So I'm very proud of where I come from. And my parents have just really instilled a lot of great characteristics. I always like to say I'm a makeup of pretty much everyone around me. Yeah. Um, um, yeah. And they're a huge portion of that. So yeah. seeing their time and their commitment over the years growing up, it really, you know, there's nothing like being a coach's kid. So yeah, it just, it really molded me and shaped me and it made me the person who I am today. And it makes me really want to be able to give back and do everything that they've done. And you're doing it. <laughs> Trying. Yeah, so, <laughs> so just knowing your journey, hearing you talk about your background, I would consider that to be hugely successful. So let's let's hit on success. What is your definition of success? My definition of success, when I think about it, I always think about the girls at the George Ranch softball program and what I would like to continue with the girls at Capel is that we are focusing on creating better people, not just better players. So one of my big things that I like to focus on when talking about a program is that we're not just looking at winning records. We're not just looking at, oh, what's our season look? Looking like I'm focusing on who are you when no one's watching who are you when you're representing us whether you have our brand on or not um, 
I'm just really proud of the growth that I've seen from my players at George Ranch, and I hope that that, that impact will continue to be seen outside of George Ranch's gates. So that's, good. Well, that's we, success to me. Yeah, that's good. Well, as we close, Coach, like if you don't mind sharing with the audience where they can follow you and check you out and show you some love with all the amazing things you got going on. So on Twitter, I'm at Coach Liddy Witty, and then on Instagram, I'm at Coach Liddy underscore Witty. Awesome. That's Coach me, Liddy Witty. Liddy <laughs> Witty. I almost introduced you like that. And I said you should. That's yeah. fine. Liddy Witty. No. <laughs> But, Coach, thank you so much for coming Thank you. Through. I really uh, appreciate it. And everything that you do, um, I just watched your past interview uh, with Coach Ray Zepeda, and, I mean, it's just phenomenal, the, the access that you're giving so many people, not just in athletics, but in education across the board. So, it's really, you're doing something really special. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Just <laughs> striving to give back what's been given to me. That's right. You know, just like you're doing. And so, again, thank you so much thank you. for the interview and thank you guys for checking out this episode. We'll see you next time. God bless. Go get it.